Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is Lee, and in this vid, I'm gonna show you guys how to catch spotted bass in Texas. So we are currently at Lone Star Lake. Now, here we have the map. If we click on fish species and you scroll all the way down, you come to spotted bass. Uh, there's a bit of info here, and what it says basically is uh, where the name comes from. Where it is here, it says it prefers both cool and warm mountain stream, river, and reservoirs. The rocky bottom that is info that we need, and then also what the uh, size is and weight. However, these two things here are what we need to keep in mind when we go off to spot a bass. So, the preferred baits are small minnows, shiners, and natural eggs, and preferred lures are caustic spoons, bass jigs, spinner baits, worms, and crack baits. So all of these can be used, and then some more. Uh, if I go to inventory here, you can see I also uh, been catching them on rat worms. That is uh, one of the baits that is not listed on list, but it does work for these spotted bass. And you can see I caught two on uh, shads, and then one on a casting spoon. Okay, so let me show you guys the uh, spots where I'm uh, fishing them. So. If you open the map, I am on that one, Swampy Exploration. And uh, what you need to do is uh, go stand on the bridge. And uh, if we walk to the center of it, right here, what we see is this triangle of weeds. And that is for a reason, because if you stand on the right side of it, you have a very clear spot right here. You can do a very clear retrieval without getting snagged by the weeds and lily pads. If you go stand on the left side of it, you have the exact same thing going on here. And that is where you can cast out and retrieve with uh, lures. And not getting a whole lot of snacks either. So bass in general, they like to prefer and hang out. Uh, along weeds and lily pads and stuff like that. So this is the first X that I'm going to show you guys with lure fishing. Let's cast a bit over there. There we go. Um, what you do is you do a simple stop and go. So wait until lure hits the bottom, there it goes. And then you start reeling in. So you press your left mouse button for a second. You release it, wait for a second until lure hits the bottom again. And then you continue. And this is called the stop and go technique. And uh, it works pretty good on spotted bass. Now you see stop and go appearing. So you, you just reel in this way, nice and gently. Uh, you want to have your reel speed set on 3. Do not set it on 2. 2 is too slow for these fish, and 4 goes too fast. Now, once it hit 10 meters, do not start reeling in the rest of your line. Because right here at this spot, between uh, 10 and 6, is where you can still hook them. But I do not think... Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, a very small bite there. That was too late on oh, catching it. Okay, so let's move to this side. And let's try it again. And this is actually also the same spot that I use for uh, going off the pike. The grass pickerel is a uh, pike species that you can catch here. Uh, you can also catch them on a casting spoon. I'm currently using the 5 gram number 2 hook. And uh, today I'm using a silver one, but you also can, uh, can get the gold. And you can use number 2, number 1, and 1 odd. I believe a 2 odd is a bit too big for the spotted bass, but like true bass, they do have a large mouth. And they at times try to swallow stuff that is a bit too big for them, or seems too big for them. So you can also, uh, for instance, use um, a free or crankbait that will work uh, as well for these. There we go, we have a fish on. 
And let's reel this one in. Now, let's see what we hooked here. Yeah, it's a bass. Always a surprise here, because like I said, sometimes you also can catch a pike. But here we go, spot a bass, close to 500 gram. Uh, gives you 83 bucks and 11 XP, at least this one. Now, there are a couple of other spots that you can uh, go after them as well. Um, actually, everywhere near lily pads is a great spot to go after them. So, for instance, you could just cast out here, and then do a straight retrieval until there. Here is where you can find bass as well, all over the lake. Um, the small inlet over there, you can catch bass very well. And then the one over there, too. If you go all the way in the corner up there is where you can catch them as well as well as the patches of lily pads over there um let me show you guys what i use for float fishing as well first off i'll show you the setup on this one so this is a value spin 190 with a mini spin 1200 mono 0.18 millimeter line casting spoon uh, number two silver uh, so that is the setup that I'm using. You can purchase all this at level 3 and then uh, for float fishing I'm using a Telefloat 450 with a mini spin 800. This is your actual your starting setup that you start with when you uh, begin playing Fishing Planet. I'm using a hook number 1. You can go with a, a smaller hook but then the chance of catching panfish like shiners and bluegills is also quite high. So hook number one is what I would prefer. Leader set it to 90 centimeters or 30 inches. That is what you need to do. Let's show that as well. Here we go. And press 11, F11. Just cast that right about there. 18, 90 meters is all right. There you go. So that's roughly uh, 50 feet. Now you just wait a minute. Uh, do note on uh, this particular setup, so Teleflip 450 with a mini spin 800, you can only set your drag 4 out of 6. If you put it on 5 out of 6, you risk breaking your line because you get too much tension on your line. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, a couple of nibbles. And yeah, it starts nibbling again. Come on, take it. So next to red worms, it's that you could use small minnows and shiners and natural eggs. Um, the deal is there with uh, those type of bait, except for natural eggs, is that you will need a bigger rod. Um, and a bigger reel and a bigger line because the weight of the shiners and the small minnows is simply too big too heavy for this particular setup uh, so you risk uh, losing uh, your gear due to uh, it breaking there we go we've got a fish on and he's not jumping Oh, there we are, a small jump. Uh, another jump. Yep, we've got a bass, I think. And there we go. So, another spot of bass. This one is a little over 750 uh, gram. So, it pays you 130 bucks. So that is the deal with uh, spotted bass. Now I'll show you a couple of other spots just uh, walking towards it. So like I said, they like to hang out near lily pads and this lake has quite a lot of does. So if you just walk along here, here we've got some lily pads and weeds that you can fish them there as well. Now if you want to do uh, shads, that works perfectly well. You use the same technique as you would do with a casting spoon. So set your uh, reel speed onto free. Here, for instance, is not a great spot. And what the best thing is to do is stand right here so you can cast all the way out there and then you reel in like this. 
if you want to lure fish. If you want to float fish, just cause right about there. Not too close, because the closer you get to the lily pads, the more panfish you'll get as well. But say roughly about here, that is, uh, is a good spot for them. And then over here in this corner, this too is a good spot. It is not a good spot for float fishing, uh, because here you get actually at this distance, you get a radius on fish, you get a lot of blue gill. And on occasion you also get the uh, smallmouth buffalo. So this I would not recommend for float fishing. However, for lure fishing, like using sheds or the spoons, this is uh, a great spot to go after those uh, as well. Uh, same as uh, pike, by the way. Uh, let's quickly move up the dam road. And towards the other side of the lake. Because there again, there's reeds, and we've got weeds and lily pads. And that too is a great spot. So, um, when also looking at the uh, timetable, I'll do that in a minute. Just need to run along this side for a second. Here we go. So, here you've got another great spot in catching them. So you got lily pads over there, we actually see one jumping there. You got over here, you got the lily pads over there. So this all in all is again a great spot also for uh, for float fishing. Now if we go to the map and look at a better forecast, you can see that today it is a full cloudy day. So you, you start already early in the morning. That is actually where you can uh, catch quite a lot of bass. And then in the evenings as well. Uh, you can catch them, uh, catch them, uh, uh, say at noon, uh, but they will be a bit less. So, um, on uh, in general, for bass, it's the early mornings and late afternoons slash evenings that you can catch them. However, on full sunny day, you can also catch them uh, quite a lot during, uh, say, from 11 to 5. Uh, oh, for from 10 a.m. to 5 uh, p.m. That's also a good uh, good time to fish. Uh, just uh, in general, uh, morning and evenings are in general a good thing. If you do notice that the catch is a bit off, try uh, fishing around noon. Alrighty, so that is uh, all in all how you catch uh, the spotted bass. They are the most rewarding fish in uh, Texas. So if you want to grind money, this is definitely the fish that you want to go after. Uh, experience not that, uh, not not a lot compared to a couple of other fish, but money-wise, definitely the thing to go after. So, with that, I'm leaving you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you soon next time again. If you like, give this uh, vid a thumbs up, leave your comments below, and if you want to see me fishing live, follow me on Twitch. Bye bye, everybody.